good way to add some excitement into your hair is to add some plaid. And we're gonna add our plaid by using wefted panels. The first step is to clarify your weft. If you're using a cuticle grade hair, you're gonna to need to add some hair color developer in with your clarifier in order to break up any hair coatings and to help open up that cuticle in order to allow the color to penetrate. Then once you've clarified and you've blow dried your wefts, you're going to flat iron them and make sure they're nice and straight. It's really important that your hair is really straight at this point in order for your pattern to come out really clean. Once you've done all that, the next step is to secure your hair to your workstation. We're gonna do that by using some simple scotch tape. One across the top and one across the bottom. In order to start our plaid process, we're gonna do two opposing hair colors and we're just gonna paint our vertical stripes in. I'm using a 1AB from Redken and for our secondary color, I'm going to be using a 5RR which is actually a Paul Mitchell color. When you're painting on wefted hair, it's really important that you are following the grain direction of the hair. If you are painting in the upward direction, you're just going to screw up all of that nice straight hair that you have. And you wanna make sure that you're keeping the hair nice and straight where it's supposed to be in order for your pattern to come out really clean. Okay, these two stripes are kind of fat, so I'm gonna do a skinnier one. Now we're gonna add in our uh, other lines that are gonna go across, our horizontal lines. And in order to do that, I'm just kind of dabbing it into place. There's no real painting on these lines because you'll screw up the hair. In order to help you get your lines nice and straight too, you can always put in guide marks. So you're looking at it from a little bit of a pulled back perspective and then that way when you're doing your, your detail work in here, it's a little bit easier to follow because then you just connect the dots. Now we're gonna add our secondary color and we're gonna do it the same way as the first except for we're gonna avoid all of the first color that we just put on so that it doesn't smear or bleed. So we're gonna just put in our red color right alongside. So I'm blotting in the color and I'm going to avoid the black color right next to it. and below it. Once you've finished your vertical lines on your secondary color, you are ready to start painting in your horizontal lines and continue working until you have finished putting in all of your stripes. Once you've finished painting in your stripes, you wanna go ahead and let this set until it's dry. Once it's dry, you're ready to rinse. And the way that you're gonna rinse is you're gonna fill a sink basin with water, with cool water, and then you're gonna add some distilled white vinegar into the water. That vinegar is gonna help the cuticle on the extension hair close down really tight so that your color doesn't bleed or shift. Once you have it all rinsed out, you wanna blow dry it really good and flat iron that pattern and then you should end up with something that looks about like this. To make your panels easier to wear, you can add weaving clips or you can simply pin them in.